Hi everyone, it's Sheena from For the Love of Paper and I am going to do my weekly collage. I had pulled out a smaller journal, I think it was Grace, but um, just I ended up pulling so many pieces out that they weren't going to fit in there. So then I switched and went to a bigger size, so I have Scarlet. And it's been a while since I've um, done anything and this is my evolution of uh, collaging. This is like my very first um, one that I actually did spreads in. But yeah, I pulled this one out and I've only done, this was the opening 2023 page and I've done two. So I haven't done very many in this one. So I decided I'll do that today. And um, I have some pieces pulled out here. I am on new camera. It feels crooked to me, sorry. On a new camera, more uh, with a new phone, more storage. So um, hopefully this is a lot clearer and by image and I don't get cut off anymore. We'll just see what happens. So this is the piece that I'm this is the girl I chose, so this is, it all goes around this girl, if I can pick her up. This one here. So I am just going to collage. Um, and turn this into a spread. So I have the two, um, autumn journals done that I use the ephemera pack, the harvest ephemera pack. So I'll show you those. I'll show you the ephemera pack because I'm going to make a listing for that. And then I will um, show you something else I started. I've been on this big ephemera kick. So well, like how to organize it, store it differently. So I'll show you that then too. Just putting this down. It's, I don't ever remember what day of the week it is, but today is Tuesday. And it's a rainy, chilly day. Putting, trying to think how I want. Maybe I'll cut these in half. And I feel like this light above me keeps blinking. There, I did it again. It's plugged in. Maybe it's a different one. Something keeps blinking out there. I don't know if it's showing up to you guys, but I can definitely see it. Hmm. Where am I going to want to put her? She's not going to fit on that, so she's going to have to be on the blue in some fashion. This pink thing the den doesn't really have much purpose but I think I just need to start putting pieces down or I'll have to sit here and keep doing this so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down Somewhere about there. I'll put these down. Nope. I feel like that was further to the left. Maybe more here. 
Doodle Skirt, Strawberry Shortcake, Redstone, and Deep Hibiscus are the colors. I think I ordered some swatches off a line, then that's how I got these colors. there. This is eating it. There we go. She's going to go there. Maybe I'll connect it to with this. I have these circles still. I forgot about that. Okay, so I'll put this kind of here, just covering the edge of that. And let me see these circles. From what I can tell, the image looks so much clearer, which is great. somewhere. Hmm. I'm not sure. Is this one or two? This is two. I'll put this down. Underneath there, so it's coming out like that. I'm going to put this one here. You know whenever you, well, I don't know about you, but I got this new phone. I mean, I had an 11. It's been paid off for like two years. And, um, I thought, oh, there's no need to get a new phone. But then whenever I was thinking about the possibilities of the less issues I might have with uh, newer iPhone, better recording, that kind of thing, then I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to do it. What I did not anticipate was, um, I'm going to cut some of this white away, uh, getting it, and it's like, like, I guess in my head, I thought, oh, it's going to feel like something new. I mean, it is new. It's more storage and a better camera, but that's literally the only thing different about it. It's smaller than my old one. And there's like, I haven't seen like any new, like a feature that makes it and you're specialer than the one before. 
other than this space thing. So it's kind of like getting something new, but I don't really feel like it. But maybe you guys will get the benefit of it because, well, I mean the frustration of it always cutting out. Because I now have double the amount of storage. And I put all my photos over on the cloud. No, that's not true. The cloud doesn't work for me. I don't even know if you can think that that's a thing, but my cloud doesn't store up any or give any new space. I put them on Google Photos and that cleaned them out. So I hardly, maybe 20 photos on this phone all together and now a lot more storage. So we should be good. Not, I don't know what else to do. My sister's like, put them on the cloud. No, that thing don't work for me. I'm just getting this middle piece out of here. Not in great. It's not going to be all the way up to her clothes, but just the, removing the majority of it. So it's not that big white space. Okay, so I think I'm just pulling a piece of paper out of my trash and just to uh, ink this so the white's not so white. Okay, those were just glue pages. I know people save their glue pages, but I don't really have luck with saving them. I have a mess. Okay. So put her there. I'm gonna cut that little taily thing off. I know well, it's tail, it's a stem, but I'm gonna remove that and I'm just cutting a little bit of this clear away, getting a little bit closer. I'll put that one here and then I have a butterfly over here that's on the edge of the mat. down. Where's it supposed to go underneath there? Oh. There we go. Okay, and then I'll put this butterfly right here. I don't know what this is from. It looks like it was already cut out of something. I think I got it in a Happy Mail because when I was pulling these out of the little clear box, this was in the bottom. I was like, I think that's actually the right color. This is a sticker, right? I don't even know. It's like slippery on this side. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's... All right, well, I don't know what it is, but I'm still holding it down. Okay, and because it looks a little plain to me, let's see what washies we have here.
maybe some over here, and then maybe down here, and across there where that white is. So then it evens it out. I think that will be good. There and right there. And then that's the spread for this week. There we go. Okay. So that is the spread. I think I need a little bit more glue underneath there where I peeled that up. Oh, I didn't even get anywhere near there. This is just like a glue remover from the Dollar Tree. I ripped some of it in the process, but that's fine. All right, so there is the spread for this week. Um, pretty simple. I haven't done, like I said, I haven't done one in this one for quite a long time. So that's now the third in 2023. So not even, no. Yeah, the third in 2023. So maybe I did one and a quarter. Don't know. All right, so that's that. Now, let me set her off to, look, it's starting to bust at the top. That's why I started going from double pages to single pages, because it was breaking. All right. Put that off to the side. I'm going to show you, I'm going to use things here real quick. things. This is my basket of stuff. I need to list. So I know this is going to be a little shiny, um, but this is how the packs will come. It is a piece of straw paper, um, three pieces of harvest scented dyed coffee paper, two pieces of smaller because the way it's cut is weird because it's from Bolivia, this sugarcane paper, some tickets dyed, and a bunch of other pieces. There's over over 20 pieces in here. I also put in some crochet that's um, been dipped in the Harvest Coffee scented, co Harvest Coffee, and then some uh, Baker's Twine there as well. So there will be a few of these in my shop, and like I said, it smells so good. All right, then I didn't use these in the journals, but they will go with these two. These are the two little harvest notebooks I made. Um, they have all the contents, except for these two pieces that will come along with it in side of them. So, and I decorated this one on camera and then did this one off, but it does have this journal card in there. It has that envelope pocket. Um, this is the coffee dyed paper. This is uh, another side of an envelope. And then there's this postcard that comes with it. Um, the straw paper. There's a pocket here. Um, I have a journal card in there That's that came with the pack. That's in both of them. And then I decorated this index card that's from the kit. This little flippy pad. Um, that's the time card right there. So I made a little flippy pad in both of them for extra writing space. I did also do some decoration by punching the edges of these. Here's another one with this little um, coin envelope that's been decorated with tag inside. There's the center. Here's an envelope. Oh, this was, so there's, there was one thing different about the two of these. This one, this is the envelope. And I just cut the top off and made that a pocket on this page. On this one, the envelope's in the center of the signature. So it would be tied in here and then it's the same kind of pocket. 
Um, there's this other half of this um, big envelope here, decorated, it comes with this tag. There's also another um, little journal card in there, but this is uh, a tag I decorated with that Scenti, both the Scenti pieces that comes in the kit. There's another little pocket there with a journal card in. There's another coin little, a little coin envelope, paper clipped on, and there's a tag inside. Um, this I made with just scraps. There's one in there too. It's just like a little cluster um, from some of the pieces. And then there's this library card and then this little journal card tucked in here more of the pages and then the last index card that's a writing space and then this little journal card. So all the pieces that come in the kit have been used in both of these with the exception of these things and you can use them however you want to um, and make little tags or clip things in like make them into little paper clips and then clip things in here however you want but that's both of those and they are the same size six a little over six by roughly five just a little less than five um i think this one's actually um more like close to exactly five if you can see that it's just a little bit wider but these will be listed in my shop and it's using the items that are in those harvest kits so these smell just as good and these will come along with that so that's gonna be some listings that I have to put in. And then, um, oops, I just banged it. I have been, um, this is a burlap photo album. It's one of these ones with the magnetic pages. I have all my Tim Holtz, um, I had them all, the Christmas stuff, all in their cellophane bags. Starting back, I think my first year was maybe 2021. That's some of these pieces. And I just put them in here um, yesterday. I kind of had so much fun doing this. And then it starts 2022. This is from last year. These didn't come out this year. Um, so I have those. And then um, this is all, again, the 2022 20, stuff. I love that these are sticky and for the most part, keep things in place. All these little pieces, you can see everything. You can grab what you want. I cannot wait to see how this works with my Christmas stuff, Christmas ephemera. So then again, this is all 2022 ephemera and um i ordered 2023 from simon says stamp i should have it in a few days and then i will start so because i have all these poinsettia pieces from last year i didn't even open the pack so i didn't buy the new poinsettia 2023 poinsettia um oh i want to call them people paper dolls. So in 2023, they have the poinsettias and the paper dolls together in a pack. I didn't buy that because I have all this poinsettia from last year that I didn't even use. And then I have two packs of Noel paper dolls, which is the Christmas winter ones. So um, I have all this. I'm going to open to a page that looks pretty. And then these, then from here, when I get the 2023, I'll start putting the ephemera in. So I got the ephemera pack. Um, the frames, and I think that's as far as I got also the paper, um, the backdrops, but that's not gonna go in here. So those are the two things that I got um, that will then start back here and I'll keep going through. And then once those are in, I have this whole pack of the Christmas Noel paper dolls and then I'll put them in the remaining pages. And I have another pack of this so I have two of these. I'm only going to put one in. And let me just show you. I, let me set this off to the side. So then the paper dolls will go in the back of that. So that's what I've been working on for uh, 
prepping stuff for Christmas. I have this Christmas bin. Uh, it's like a big longer bin on the floor. So back here, you can't really see it, but that's my 12 by 12s. There's eight and a half by 11. Um, some extra things from last year. Last year's backdrops. Um, some smaller six by six paper. Some pieces of ephemera that I can use. The stickers from last year. I didn't get the new ones from 2023. These are the journal cards. And I actually have another whole set of the Christmas journal cards. So I have two of those. I'm not going to put them in the um, binder. These are the two Christmas Noel packs. Um, I just got these at um, Hobby Lobby. They're stickers. So I might put them in the very back if there's room. I have this tape from last year I didn't open. Um, let's see. I have these little Santas. I'm thinking that's from Hobby Lobby. Um, I have these little Christmas stickers stuck in here. Is that all of them? They're down in here. And then I have this um, whole big like sack that I got last year from... I know her paper is back here because I just saw it a second ago. I'm going to use it like as a... It's from Emily at the Vintage Polka Dot Shop. I got this um, sack of all pieces of Christmas fabric. So I have that tucked in here. I got this the other day because I think that will be a nice backdrop. This is from Michaels. This I just got at Michaels. They have these uh, like tag cut style pieces a paper now that are double sided. So I got those. I think they will be great for tags. So this is my Christmas box and I have just these little pieces that were tied onto the pack of um, the fabric that came from Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop. So I just kind of stuck that on here. So this is my Christmas bin. I do have those couple more pieces coming from there's also vintage christmas postcards in here some of my ephemera from last year this is my um collage art glue book for um the christmas edition for the 25 days of christmas or whatever that was i didn't even finish it last year so this is my christmas bin and then so that's everything I have Christmas at this point. I have this, um, just grabbing the other one. This fall, autumn one. And these are just a couple pieces I hadn't put away. So this is the journal that I'm working on. Instead of back this up a little bit, three signatures, I evened it out to four just because I feel like they sit better. This is stacked full of pages and it doesn't have any ephemera in there yet. So if this gives you any idea how yummy this is going to be, um, oh, so fun. I need to sew these signatures in. I think I did show you that I was putting that in there. I put that together. So I just need to sew these in and then start decorating and the cover on this um, is gonna be like a fall mushroom. I did start some of the ephemera pieces. So these, this is like a, t um, tip in or a tuck. These are just some of the pieces of ephemera that I made so far that are going to go in there. Um, that's kind of what I've been working on and that's what I have here. So these are the pieces that I want to finish off. This is some stuff I had left over from last year. I'll probably put one of these fabric pockets in. Um, I have this fall piece that I might make just like a traveler's notebook for fall. And then I have the fall ephemera books, my scraps. And then back here's my 12 by 12s. I don't have very much fall stuff. Um, 12 by 12s because it's just not something I have a lot of. 
So those are, and I have this little fall thing that I clipped on here for my fall bin. So that kind of just gives you an idea of what I've been working on. And um, the fall and Christmas stuff prepping. I just got, I don't know if you've seen these before. I got just got these at Michael's this morning. And they're, let me go ahead and take it out of here so it's not shiny. The cards are just an added bonus. But this is um, like a card pocket. But I was thinking that I can turn this into like little pouches and then just tuck something in there. And it'd almost be like a double, glue that off and they'd be like double pockets. And then you can see through on this one. So it's a pack of 10. So, so it'd be 10 double pockets and there's also these envelopes and there might even be a way that I can turn this into something like that it could be like if I put a piece of paper there that could then be a pocket and this is a pocket and that's a pocket and this could go into a signature so it'd be one two three pockets and that would be like a signature like that so um I just had a whole bunch of ideas with these so I grabbed them for Either four ninety nine or five ninety nine. I think I'm getting Prime delivered right now. Then these vellum card wraps. But my idea with this, and there's ten in here, was to turn these into vellum sacks because I checked in the store; they do overlap. So um, this could be folded up and then glued. And then use like these little, um, yeah, that's no, definitely prime, I think. Um, these little jaggedy edge to make like little jaggedy edge at the top for pouches. So then there's 10 of these, and I think these were $4.99. And then I got these vellum tags. I've never seen them there before. I think the new vel the vellum collection is a new addition, and this is at Michael's the recollections but I have these vellum tags there's 20 in here they were $3.99 and then there's 20 of these littler ones that were $3.99 so I think those will be great to decorate so just sharing some of my purchases with you I also went back today where is it where is it I got another one. Oh, here it is I got a second one of these photo albums and I think I'm going to put all my normal Tim Holtz stuff that's in the trays in the desk shelf here and organize all of that so I can kind of see what I'm grabbing. And I have no um, shortage of Tim Holtz ephemera backups. I noticed that whenever I was cleaning some cleaning stuff out. I literally have a... Uh, maybe 20 inch by 10 inch basket full of backup Tim Holtz ephemera. Cause if it's on sale, I grab it. So then that brings me to, what time are we at? 34. The other project that you guys see me work on is the junk journal. And I haven't done anything with it. Um, I think since I found more pieces I think that's what I did. I found more pieces. This is going to tip over. Maybe it's even this one. Like that. So this has one, two, three signatures. And it's very tatty. It's got, I'm gonna, I think I said I was going to sew this over. So it's like a little thing at the top there. Um, Tim Holtz fabric on the inside and this is just going to be a really grungy 
junk junk journal and I kind of love it so um I need to get back working on this I think I did show tell you guys I glued that on backwards but it's fine maybe I'm gonna do it this way and just sew that on there I'm not sure but I do need to work on I have a whole pouch here of ephemera and different things to make or just like scraps and stuff to make ephemera with and um, this little basket whenever I'm actually working on it. So those are an update of things that I've been doing. I think um, I think I'll end this video here. We're at like 36 minutes. I don't want it to take forever. I mean, take a long time to upload since it's really from yesterday's video that I need to get up the collaging. And I will get that uploaded and I'm gonna record uh, Margaret Miller, which is tomorrow, Wednesday. And the latter half of that, I might either, maybe I'll finish the ephemera for the fall journal, um, just because that's more time sensitive and I wanna get it in the shop. And then we'll come back to this one because this is just a fun, as I have time project that I really wanted to start and get working on. So I've started this bin thing for projects, which has been really helpful too. So I think that's it for today. I will um, see you guys again tomorrow. Check out these little journals if you're interested and the Harvest um, paper, paper ephemera packs. I'm telling you, they smell so good. Uh, so that's it. Have a great day. Bye.